Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. How was your weekend? Um, very good. I, <laughs> I sleep all the weekend. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Okay. That's good. I mean, it's good to rest. So you have okay. a very long weekend. <laughs> Besides sleeping, what else do you do? Nice. Um, not much really, because I I was very tired. So only sleep? No, I. Uh, Studied study. English. Uh -huh. Ah. <laughs> Go out? Yes. Um, I I was in Santa Tecla mm, and right. Paseo del Carmen the weekend. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. And let's see. I can see Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How do you feel? Are you better now? Mm. Uh, yes, I I'm better, but um, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Well, but little by little. <laughs> yes. And, and how was your weekend? What do you do? Mm. I I stay in my house. I. I uh, I have one tool in, in my house because uh, I'm a little sick. Mm. So you didn't go out. And I I was we was we were we were uh, with my uh, with my mother. Ah. We were the with my mother um, only. Okay. Yes, I I uh, this weekend was relaxed. And well, that's important. That's great. <laughs> okay, pretty good. All right. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being on time. It's been a long time. You had a very long weekend. So tell me, what do you do? I can see Elias. Hello, Elias. How are you? Hi, teacher. How do you feel today? Great. How was your weekend? Your long weekend. Yeah. That, <laughs> well, I cannot not lie. That was amazing. I hope that uh, all my weekends <laughs> be like this. Oh, you need longer weekends every yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> Happy okay. that, that be with you with all. Thank you. Me too. I'm happy to see you guys. Thank you so much for being in the class. Thank you so much for being on time. Welcome, welcome again. So guys, did you watch uh, the Central America games? Yes? No? Nobody? Okay. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but, but... Let me ask you, did you work on the platform? Mm, Elias, oh my goodness. Why not? I can see some of you have a lot of progress. I'm going to share with you how the platform goes. Um, I had some of your classmates had issues with the same exercise, so we are going to resolve it here in the class. Okay, 
So let's see how your progress is. Look at this. Can you see the platform? Yes. Everybody, can you see the platform that I'm sharing? Yes, I can see yes. it. Yes, sure. Excellent. Okay, now today we are starting the week number three. That means that for today you have to be, um, well, unit number two has to be done. Okay, it has to be completed. Um, I can see Anna. Anna has already finished the week number two, so that's great. Boris has 80, so pretty good. Carlos Alberto with 100%. That's excellent. Mm, then I have some people that haven't finished. I'm not going to say the names, but mm, guys, you have to work a lot. Elias, I'm sorry, I don't want to say names, but you haven't worked, not even in the first one. Okay, so be careful with that. Uh, so then I have Ulise, he has already finished uh, the week number two, so that's awesome. And Osman, Osman and Pamela already finished uh, the week number two. Excellent job. And basically that, okay? Now, remember guys that in the week number two, we have the first exam, okay? That is the midterm. Few people have taken the midterm. I have Ana and Carlos Alberto with excellent scores. So very good job, like it. Um, and then look, a lot of people haven't taken the exam. So guys, be careful. Remember that the platform is not optional. It's an obligation. Um, I have Osman, Osman and Pamela already uh, took uh, the midterm and you got a perfect score. Very good job, excellent. And basically that, okay? So few people have taken uh, the exam, guys. Remember midterm, you have to do it. Okay, if you haven't finished the platform, I'm talking about the, you, uh, the week number two. You have to do it, okay? I don't want you to have issues, okay? So please try to advance. Um, let's see, remember that if you have issues with the platform, you can let me know. In this moment, let me open up one of the exercises that some of your classmates and had issues with. Um, let me open it up. If I'm not wrong, uh, it's in the number, let's see. I don't know why, but the platform today is pretty slow. Have you entered to the platform today? Yes. Is giving you issues? Not really. I feel normal. Ah, okay. So in my case, it's a little bit slow, but anyway. Okay. Well, I tag so fast. Ah. Yeah, it's slow. Okay. Very now, slow. It is. I don't know why. Okay, look at the exercise. This is in the week one. Okay, in the unit number one and the exercise number seven. So it's 1.7. This is an exercise that is giving issues to some of you, right? And we are going to resolve it together. Um, if you read the instruction, it says, order the words to make sentences. Listen, in this type of exercises, you need to be very careful. Because if you write one word incorrectly, the full sentence will be incorrect. Only one letter is different. Everything will be incorrect. So my friendly advice is be careful with the spelling. 
Okay. If you are on the computer, I highly recommend to copy and paste. So in this case, uh, help you produce as retailer, as wholesalers, much profit. What do you think, guys? What is the first word? What is the correct order? What do you think? The first uh, will be retailers. Okay. Because capital letter. Exactly. So if you are on the computer, I recommend you to copy and paste. If you are going to type it, be careful with the spelling. Okay. After retailer, what is next? Remember that in this sentence, we are using the comparative as. As. So what do I need next? Retailer? Help you produce. Okay, help you produce. Okay. And then? As. As, okay. So I'm going to, look, I'm copying this because I wanted to pay attention how the exercise can be resolved. Okay, retailers help you produce as? Much profit. Okay, much profit. Oops, let's see. Mass profit, uh-huh. As well as sailors. As whole? Holes, holes sailors. Wholesaler, very good. Wholesalers. As wholesalers, okay? So we scroll down and click instead. Okay, and now that is the correct answer. Uh, be careful with the microphones, please. I know that in some sentences, uh, in some exercises, if you pay attention in some exercises that we did before, the platform always asks you to add the final uh, period, right? If you add a period, the answer will be incorrect. So in this type of exercise, please don't add the period. If you don't add the period, so the answer will be correct. Understood? Yes. Now, yeah. uh, again, recommendation for this exercise, be careful with the spelling, okay? Everything has to be correctly uh, spelling. Um, be careful with the point. Don't add the last period, please. And this exercise, um, if you see, I already resolved it. All the sentences are correct, except the number two. And this is a mistake of the platform. Okay, um, in this scenario, it doesn't matter how the answer is. It seems that is always incorrect. So if you resolve all these exercise and all your answers are correct, except the number two, don't worry because I will give you the extra point. Okay, um, so, uh, in the number three, what is the correct answer? Let's start with the capital letter. Product transportation is as expensive as storage capacity. Okay, so you just have to put the words in order. As I mentioned before, the only sentence that is always going to give you an error is the number two. So ignore the number two, because I already tried <laughs> with different sentences, like the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payments is received, but they never accept my answer. I don't know why. Let's see if I remove the dots. 
even if I remove the dot, it seems like it's always incorrect. So uh, I don't know why the platform is pretty slow. Okay, but that is the way that you are going to resolve that exercise. Is it clear? Yes, everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Um, and if you see, I'm going to check your score. I want to share something. If we go to your um, scores, because of that exercise is that some people uh, didn't get 100% in the unit number one. I want to clarify this, um, but the platform is pretty slow. Let me try to share it, let's see. I think that is an issue of the platform because some teacher says that, yeah, they have issues with the platform. But what I'm trying to say is this, algunas personas debido a que ese ejercicio, la número dos siempre les da un mistake, no lograron tener 100% en la unidad número uno. Sin embargo, obtuvieron alrededor del 96%, por decirlo así. Okay, 96% is something good, pero como es un mistake de la plataforma, en el libro de notas yo no les puse 96%. Yo les puse 100, ¿ok? Pero ojo, eso es solo a los que se sacaron 96%, es decir, a solo a los que tuvieron ese único mistake. Porque repito, ya ahí ya no es cosa de ustedes, sino que ya es cosa de la plataforma. ¿Entendido? Yes. Yes. Pretty good. Uh, do you have any questions so far about the platform, everyone? Questions? No questions? Okay, well, if you don't have questions, let's start with, uh, with today's class. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, you know what to do. Say present, please. Um, Ana Lorena, well, she said that she's not going to be here, right? Uh, Boris Alexander? I hear Excellent, present. very good. Carlos Alberto? Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Very good. Eulice Torres. All right. Very good. Jose Salvador. I'm here. Very good. Josman Atilio. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Present. Very good. Osman Enrique. Osman. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Eh, Santiago Roberto. Okay, Wilber Alberto. Wilber, no? Okay, well, let's start everyone. Today we are going to have a lot of practice as always, right? Remember that the objective is that you talk a lot. So let me start sharing the presentation. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay, so today is July 10th. Guys, we are starting the week number three. All right. And this is the topic that we are going to study today. We are going to talk about advantages of outsourcing. Do you remember the meaning for outsourcing? Yes or no? Yes, it's the subcontractation. Ah, very good, very good. If you remember last week, we talked about the 3PL. Do you remember that one, right? 
Yes. Hmm. Okay, I hope you remember because we are going to talk about it. So we are going to talk about the advantages of outsourcing a 3PL service provider. Okay, so this is our class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Uh, the class objective Particip participants uh, will be able to express the advantage of advantages? advantages of sourcing a 3PO service provider and add connector to the their speech. Thank you. So we are going to divide the class in two. We are going to talk about the advantages of outsourcing. And also guys, we are going to try to include connectors. Okay, when we are speaking, if we want to sound a little bit more natural and fluent, we need to use connectors. So that is what we are going to be discussing today. But before that, do you remember the simple past? Yes? Subject. Uh-huh. Plus. Where? The bear. Plus. Mm -hmm. A compliment. That's correct. So we are going to practice a little bit simple past. And for that, we are going to answer these questions. Okay, I wanted to talk and discuss these questions with your classmates. And listen, I want details. Okay, in each question, I wanted to provide as many details as possible. Remember everyone, you are intermediate. You are not beginners anymore. So if I ask you, for example, what did you do on the last weekend? Give me details. If I say, for example, um, I slept, is that enough? What do you think? Is that a good answer? Everybody? No. No, it's too short. Can I say, uh, I worked? Is that enough? No. No. Okay. I want you details. You can say, ah, oh, on my last weekend. Well, because I have Friday off, on Friday, I did this and this and this. Then on Saturday, I did this and this and this, and on Sunday, this and this and this. So a lot of details. Remember, I want you guys that for each question, I want you to imagine that you need to talk for one minute, okay? That's the rule. Imagine that you had to talk for one minute. Got it? Yes? Is it clear the activity? Yes. Yes? Okay. I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp groups and I wanted to discuss the questions with your classmates. And then we are going to discuss the questions in the main room. I'm going to interview you and you had to talk for one minute. If your classmate doesn't remember the verbs in past, help them, okay? Help them to remember the verbs. If your classmate say something in Spanish, I mean, tell them, mm, we cannot talk in Spanish and help them to say it correctly. Understood everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. Pretty good. Now let's create, let me just create the groups. Give me one second. Okay, let's see, let's see. I want to everybody please enter to the breakup rooms. I need to everybody participate, please. Okay, one second, please.
Okay, everyone, let's go to work. Enter to the breakout rooms. Let's go. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Elias. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. So we, we have to answer the questions. Here is the first one. What did you do on the last weekend? Yeah. Tell us, what do you do, Elias? Well, my weekend was boring. I slept all the day. For me, that's good for the people. I don't think so. <laughs> but, but, um, I only went to the uh, um, where I went to Santa Tecla to Paseo del Carmen in the Saturday evening, only that. And you okay, guys? Okay. Sorry? What about you, Elias? What did yeah. you do? Well, in my last weekend, the last weekend, I slept and ate a lot. Um, <laughs> on Friday uh, on, and Saturday, I slept until uh, 10 a.m. I only wake up for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, the Monday, then Tuesday, I ate pizza, hamburgers, and Mexican food. Oh, I I love the the Mexican food. Uh, um, basically, that what must we is left in 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 okay. eight. Eat, eat. <laughs> eat and repeat. <laughs> this this weekend I will be to the gym. Uh, Okay, okay. <laughs> Next. Hey, what about you, Kevin? Um, on my last weekend, um, on, on Saturday, I woke up early and because my body uh, woke, woke up always um, very early. And then I... I wash it. I wash my clothes and my and my shoes. And in the night, I went uh, to the to a party, and I danced. And and then on Sunday, I just rested. Rested. Um, how do you say descansar en pasado? Past. Rested. Rested. I rested uh, all all day. Um, on morning, on in the night. I just on on Sunday. I I rest in my bed all the day. And what about you, Pamela? What did you do on the last weekend? You rest after party. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, well, uh, my last weekend, um, because uh, Friday was day off. That on that day, I I rested. I rested. Then on Saturday. I I wash washed all my clothes too. I do that on Saturday. 
so I wash my clothes and and clean my house and uh, that kind of stuff. Then on Saturday night, I went to a restaurant with my friends and we ate um, Mexican food. It uh, was delicious food. Uh, then on Sunday, tacos, tacos, yes, <laughs> yes, I ate oh, what tacos. What do you eat? Tacos. Uh, I ate tacos, and my friends ate um, burritos. <laughs> so was delicious food. Then on Sunday, we uh, I went to the beach with my friends and go to Conchalillo. You have a lot of money, Pamela. Nah. <laughs> eat food, eat Mexican food. Hey. Yes, yes, but, yes but, but it's like the, the Mexican street food. <laughs> no, 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 never. Never, never. I can't. I have to save money. <laughs> but on Sunday we we went to the to the beach and to Conchalillo's beach to uh, an event of food. <laughs> so I ate more food. My 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 daughter we with with wife in in the play in the visit to play the place the team marie and then 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 uh walk for the for the parque cuscatlan and i uh i I I went uh, I I I I I ate uh, the 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 lunch uh, the lunch uh, uh, the the hot dog uh, with uh, with soda and uh, when. Uh, let's go to the 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 walk on the on the on the park. He when uh, is is let's let's go to the the, the home. And, and Sunday Sunday um, I went to visit. My mother, I, 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 uh, I, I talk uh, with my my sister and, and my, uh, how do you say, sobrino, cousin, cousin, uh, nephew, with cousin. nephew, okay, cousin, cousin is yes, exactly, oh, nephew, thank you, uh, with nephew, thank you. Uh, uh, and when is a uh, 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 I I watch uh, the the movie in in the afternoon. Uh, when is a uh, uh, to the 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 place for the the dinner and. Uh, went to the 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 sleep only that okay. excellent excellent and you Ulisse? ah it's listener listener ah, okay second okay number two what did you do for your last birthday <laughs> come on i can't remember 
<laughs> My birthday was January. Mm. Uh, it was far away. <laughs> I remember. Uh, Uh, my family bought uh, a cake. Uh, I don't know how do you say casco. As uh, smell no helmet. No. Helmet. Okay. Helmet. Yeah. Hel hel uh, the cake and. Uh, 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 the form, uh, the shade. Uh, forma, I don't remember. Share, uh, share, it's, it's, it's forma. Forma. What? Uh, I don't remember, how do you say? Forma. Share. Form? Shape. Okay. What? Shape. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. The the K, uh, shade 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 uh, this helmet and um uh, the the print my age. <laughs> uh, what about you, Edwin? So in my case, um, for the last 24 hours, um, so I, yesterday I came from the beach at a o'clock, remember? And after I prepared my dinner, um, I, after um, I took a shower and after I remember I went to a sleep because I had to work. early in the morning today. And I remember I got up at five, five o'clock and I went to the work uh, at seven o'clock. After I worked all day. Okay. Um, my case in the last 24 hours and yesterday and in the morning and work it. In the afternoon, I visited the family, uh, my sister in your house and um, ate the pupusas in the night, uh, Aizalco is a pupusa de comal, is very good. Um, and today, very, very, very job and visited the control in the inter, um, reviewed the document operation, um, they very, very occupation um, is uh, untired. And uh, it's in this day, it's in the last 24 hours. Okay, that's uh, the next question. Tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go? What did you do, Salvador or Edwin? In my case, in the last vacation, I 
we we went to the beach in the el cuco my my son enjoyed the vacation because we we were today in the hotel in the cuco e and we we were swimming all the day and we ate food very delicious good okay and you Hosma um and remember I visited the the, the Cameron Hotel three day and relax because the um the different activities in the hotel and age uh, the screamer the green um in the night I visited the the disco now two or three horse and relaxing moment and relax relax the three day because it's necessary the the body and then uh alejarse the the job the different the activities every day uh this is remember the my activity in the last vacation the other days uh, in my house relaxing give gave give en pasado gave I gave 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 me gave me some presents and I opened it uh, the presents and and my sister uh, gave me uh, a bag mochila a bag, a bag. Uh -huh. bag. And, and my my mother gave gave me gave me um uh, lo lotions and, and other clothes and just okay. nice. Wow. Nice. 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 nice nice birthday game. you are the, you are the only one that received presents <laughs> <laughs> that's so that's true. sad <laughs> so sad but this so true sad, no <laughs> but i didn't go to the beach Ah, oh, okay. That's a good point. And you have a perfume. <laughs> yes, and a backpack. That's good. Tell me about what you did for the last 24 hours. Um, I, I, I stay, stay up, stayed up until midnight uh, playing Mario Kart and just dance and my Nintendo Wii. With, with my my sister and my boss gave me day off uh, so uh, I woke up at 8 a.m um, then <laughs> um, that do, uh, went to the city to buy food and cut my hair. That was all. <laughs> nice. And you, Pamela? Um, the last 24 hours, well, today I woke up at 4.30 a.m. I went to the gym at 5.30, then I went to my office. 
I work all day. Today I I had a um, um, a tra how do you say capacitation train right training yeah yes I had a train for the training you can say training ing at the end okay i had training uh, for the the new employees uh, in the organization then i i ran with a lot of a lot of um stuff and tasks i have i have to to Mondays, I had to to do a lot of a lot of uh, tasks. Then I ate my lunch, and I took a little. How do you say siesta? I don't, I don't remember. That's a good question. Nah. I nah. Nah. I took a little nap of. 10 minutes after my lunch because I was so tired. Um, and then in the afternoon, I just have a, uh, had a, a few meetings and then I, I came to my home and what, watch, watch it a little minutes of a, a movie that my mom is is watching and then i ate my dinner and it, then i connect and i'm here in the class that was my day <laughs> nice All right, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up. We are going to wait for everybody to come back to the main room. Let's wait for them. Time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room, everyone. All right, all right, time's up. Okay, interesting answers. I was listening. A little bit. Time teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Could you answer all of the questions, everyone? Mm. Yes or not? No. Only three. You answer only three. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know, guys, that you would like to have more time, but because of the time we don't. We can't, right, answer all of them. But the idea is to practice simple past. Now, questions. Did your classmates give a lot of details? Yes, teacher. Yes? Are you sure? We tried. We tried, teacher. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's great. Um, let's see. Did your classmates use correctly the verbs in past? Really, I feel, I feel uh, some doubts when I use the verbs in past because I don't practice um, and always I, I every day and and i feel some scary scary 
Okay. I, when I am speaking in, in past. And that is very common. Don't worry, that happens to many people. That's why we are having this practice, okay? It's in order that you don't forget the structure, in order that you don't forget the verbs. I know that is not easy, but that's why we are here. Now, I'm going to share, I was listening to the groups when you work in the breakup rooms and I could identify some of the eh, common areas that we need to improve. For example, I listened to someone that said, in Saturday, is this correct? In no, Saturday? Teacher. What on is Saturday. the correct one? On Saturday. Ah, we need to say? On, on Saturday. Okay, uh, can I say 10 a.m.? Ah, the pronunciation is a m. But guys, sometimes you say I am. Can I say I am? Be careful with the microphones, please. So I am, mm -mm, we cannot say that, okay? The correct one is A am. Just remember, remember the alphabet. What is the pronunciation of this vowel in the alphabet? I or A? A. A, a. exactly. So we are going to say A am. Be careful with that. Then, if you remember last week, we practiced the pronunciation of the regular verbs. What is the pronunciation of this one in simple past? Washed. Ah, Wash. very good. Washed. Can I say washed? Never. Okay, we say washed. For example, I washed my clothes. I washed the car. Okay, washed. Next, can I say in the night? At night. Ah, very good. Prepositions. In the night, never. At night. Okay. Can I say I danced? Can I say that? What is the pronunciation? It's like washed. Uh -huh. Correct. We are going to say danced. Danced. I danced all night. Can I say on morning? In the morning. Ah, prepositions. In, In the, morning. the morning. We cannot say on the morning. Uh, if I'm talking in past, can I say we visit? We visit. Visit. We visit. Okay, what is the visit pronunciation? We visit. visit. In this visit. case, we are going to say be seated. Be seated. Okay, I visited my family, I visited my friend. Okay, then listen. Proper names, they don't change. For example, Cuscatlan. Is a proper name, yes or no? Yes. Yes, so we cannot translate Cuscatlan, but Parque is a proper name? No. no. So how can I say Parque Cuscatlan in English? Cuscatlan Park. Ah, very good. We are not going to say Parque, we are going to say Cuscatlan Park. Park. Okay. Uh, can I say I walk? Oh. What is the correct Walked. one? Walked. Walked. I walked. Okay. So I know, guys, that simple past is difficult. I totally understand. So we are going to be practicing during the week. Okay, the idea is that you can be expert in the simple past. Understood? Yes? 
Yes. Excellent. So don't be worried. I mean, don't worry about it. Don't feel bad. If you feel that it's difficult for you, relax. That's why we are here. We are here to practice and we are here to improve. Now, if you remember, I told you guys that you had to talk for one minute. Are you ready to talk for one minute? Yes, yes teacher. <laughs> Only one says yes. Okay, I need a volunteer. Who wants to try? Me, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, your classmate will answer the question and we'll talk for one minute. So tell me, um, question number one, what do you do on the last weekend? Go ahead. Okay, my last weekend, um, we have a lot of um, activities in the morning. Uh, we went to the uh, supermarket. Then um, I returned to my house and I ate with my mom. But the next day, on on Saturday, on Monday, on on Sunday, we went to the doctor with my mom because my mom was uh, my mom got uh, sick. So and we we stayed or how do you say star? To be most. We, we were we were there uh -huh. for uh, around uh, seven hours. Time's so, up. <laughs> you okay. see, the time is not enough. I know that Elisa could continue talking. Very good job. Okay. Excellent, excellent. One minute. Pretty good job. Elisa, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Or Rafael. Rafael. Hello, Rafael. Rafael, are you there? I'm here, teacher. Are you ready to talk for one minute? Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. What did you do? On your last birthday. Um. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, in my last birthday, uh, I uh, get up early. Uh, and go to work like a normal day. Um, um, uh, in the, after that, in the evening, I, I go out with my family to a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant, and they celebrate my birthday. Uh, I was very happy because I love my family and, and I like uh, I, I like so much uh, share time with with they. Okay, you see one minute. <laughs> very good job. Easy or difficult? Mm, it's difficult. Because my birthday was uh, very simple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you see, guys, the idea is to give details. Try. You can invent. <laughs> no problem. Now, just be careful with some verbs. For example, get up. What is the past form of get up? Get up. Get up. Uh, instead of saying get, we say got. Okay, I got up. 
Um, yeah. Instead of saying go to work, what is the past form? Ah, went, went to work. work. Ah, very good. Went, went to work. To work. Um, mm -hmm. Celebrate, what is the past? Celebrate. Celebrate. Celebrated. Celebrated. Okay. Celebrated. Pretty good. So far, so good. You talk for one minute. Excellent. Rafael, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Uh, uh, let the opportunity to Nelson. Nelson. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Nelson, they are going to give you the opportunity to talk for one minute. <laughs> Thank you, Rafael. Thank you. <laughs> You're yeah, welcome. Very generous. Tell me, Nelson, what did you do for your last 24 hours? Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Go ahead. Go ahead. I woke up at um, 7 a.m. I cooked my breakfast at 9 a.m. because uh, I'm la I was late for connected for my work because I worked at home. And the um, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, and Friday, Wednesday I, I went to I Wednesday. I go to my office and what else? Uh, today, <clears throat> it was a, a, a stressful day. All of my days uh, is the same, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's sad, but um, it's okay. Uh, every day I, I learn about of about of things uh, for Time's my time up. <laughs> okay, you see, you can talk more, guys. That's excellent. Easy or difficult, Nelson? Mm, <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful. It's the pen of the uh, question. Could be yes, but. Can I say 7 a.m.? A.m. Ah, very good. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's the only detail. Be careful with that. Nelson, okay. pick someone, please. Mm, a victim. A victim. <laughs> okay. Edwin. Edwin. <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> Hello, Edwin. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Edwin, tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go and what do you do? So I went from to different places. Um, I remember the uh, first time on my vacation, I went to climb the volcano and after the next day I stay at I stayed at home because I was tired and after I went to the beach at night and I danced all the night and I drank something. <laughs> After I <laughs> drove, I drove uh, for five for five hours. Time's up. <laughs> because my son. Okay. Okay. I like when he said I drank something beer <laughs> uh, he didn't he didn't specify he just said i drank something <laughs> he wanted okay. to say beer ah uh, what did you drink <laughs> now he said soda i mean now let's yeah. see he mentioned one word what is the pronunciation 
volcano. Volcano, exactly. So you can say, I climbed the volcano. Okay, volcano. that is a pronunciation in English. Okay, let's stop there because of the time. So guys, recommendations, and this is for everyone. The first things that we need to do if we want to talk in simple past is to memorize the verbs. Okay, so if you don't remember the verbs in past, it's time to review them. Okay, so um, I know that you are busy. I know that it's difficult. So my recommendation is try to learn three verbs every day. Okay, imagine if you learn three verbs every day from Monday to Friday. By the end of the week, I mean, you have memorized many verbs. The next week, okay, another one. And little by little, guys, you will be learning the verbs in simple past, okay? So during this week, we are going to try to have practice, okay, in simple past, because I want it to be experts. Got it? Yes? But practice the verbs. Okay, that is the condition. Okay, excellent job, guys. Now let's stop thinking about simple past. You are doing great. Something great is that you are giving details. So maybe tomorrow we are not going to talk for one minute. Maybe tomorrow we are going to talk for two minutes, right? One minute is too short. You need to talk more. Pretty good. Any questions about simple past? Anyone? No questions? No questions. Okay, pretty good. Let's continue then. So we are going to discuss something different. Let's stop thinking about the simple past and let's talk about the advantages of outsourcing. If you remember last week, we talked about the three PLs. Do you remember the uh, three PL? Third party logistics? Yes? So, so. So, so, a little bit. Okay, let's review it a little bit. If you remember, we have this first party logistics, second party logistics, and third party logistics. Can you explain me the first party logistics? What do you remember about it? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I remember the first uh, PL, and uh, it's the case in the, uh, the direct the product, uh, the manufacturer, a consumer. Ah, very good. The first party logistic is similar when we were talking about direct channels, right? Basically, that's a good. Uh, example because remember that in the first party logistic basically the company does all the job they manufacture the product they pack the product they sell the product and they deliver the product so look it's basically like a direct channel pretty good so what is the difference between the first party and the second party logistics? What do you remember about the second party logistic? Um, uh -huh. They use uh, uh, personal outsourcing. Mm -hmm. Outsource, but um, um, that's true. If you remember, guys, in the 2PL, the company needs to outsource another company. And in this scenario, they need, look, delivery. They manufacture, they pack, they sell, but they don't have delivery. That's why they outsource a company who does the delivery process. 
How many companies are involved in this process? Only one or two? Two. 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 Yeah. That's why we say 2PL. And what is the meaning of 3PL? Do you remember? Uh-huh, 3PL, what is that? Multi-PL. Uh, only manufacturer in this sample TV, mm -hmm. uh, but the whole process, uh, transport, packaging, housing, uh, use our source. That's correct. Uh, Yes, exactly as you said that. In this case, guys, one company, they just do one job. In this scenario, for example, they only manufacture the products. Then if you want to transport, if you want to package, if they want to sell, if any other step, they need to outsource another company. And last week we were discussing that all of them has their own advantages and disadvantages. Can you remember one of the disadvantages of the 1PL? What do you think? Can you remember one of the disadvantages? Of first PL, negative aspects of three uh, PL could be the the cost uh, when, for example, the maintenance of the machines. Correct. Because uh, one PL is all uh, is only one makes uh, or do all. Exactly, very good. If you are a three P, a first PL, it's because you are a big company, but it's very expensive. The maintenance. Imagine if you have trucks, you have to maintain the trucks. Okay, you have to pay uh, the mechanics. You have to pay the gas. Right, so it's very expensive. Those are some of the advantages of the 3PL. It's a little bit cheaper, okay? Those advantages is the ones that we are going to discuss today. But first, let's see the vocabulary. I have this box. This is on your manuals. Let me try to open the manuals and look it bigger. Can you see it? Yes. This is in your yes, manuals, guys. Excellent. This is in the page 19. I have these terms. Okay. These terms are related with logistic. We have been talking about logistic. Okay. I want you to take this note, these words, and I want you to match them with the correct definition. So guys, remember reading comprehension. You need to identify the key words. For example, logistics. Hmm, what will be the correct definition for logistic? What do you think? And the coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Mm, okay, so your classmate said that logistic is here. So if you think that that is the correct one, write number one over here. Okay, if you think, no, it's not that one. I think that is process of supply. Okay, so you have number one here. 
If you say, nah, I think that is the act of obtaining and buying goods, okay, write the number one here, okay? So reading, try to understand the definition and match them. I'm going to give you guys five minutes to complete this exercise, okay? You can answer in your notebooks and then we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. Is it clear, the activity? Yes? yes. Excellent. Yes, it is. Okay, everybody, you have five minutes. If you have a question, just let me know. Let's do it. If you have questions, just let me know. Remember, identify the keywords. That's the secret.
If you have questions, just let me know, please. Are you ready or not yet? Uh -huh. yeah. Ready? Yes? yes. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I will give you two more minutes. Okay? Two more minutes. Read carefully, please. If you have question, if there is a word that you don't understand, tell me and I can help you with that. I will give you two more minutes. Okay, everybody, ready? Yes? I'm ready, teacher. Excellent. Okay, everyone, let's verify if your answers are correct or not. Let's imagine that it's an exam, so let's see how many correct answers you have. Okay, logistics, volunteer, what is your answer in logistics? Can you read it, please? Me teacher. Yes, go ahead. If the logistic is the coordination of operation, operation involve, involving many people, facilities or supplies. All right. Everybody, what do you think? Do you agree with him? Or do you have another answer? I agree, teacher. You agree? Everybody? Yes? Okay, let's see. Logistic is, yes, the coordination of an operation. Remember guys that when we are talking about logistic, uh, we are talking about everything involving, right? Or everything related to the operation and coordination. We are talking about the people, we are talking about the supplies, facilities, everything that is related to the coordination. Excellent job. If you pick this one, the answer is correct. Excellent job. Okay, now how about the number two? Supplies. Uh, can you read, please, your answers, guys? What is supplies? What answer do you have in supplies? The amount of a good of ser or service offered for sale. Hmm. Do you agree, everybody, or do you have another answer? I agree, teacher. It's correct. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. <laughs> That's correct. 
Ah, very good. Excellent job, exactly. So if someone asks you what supplies is, ah, is the amount of good of service offered for sale. Nice. Okay, then we have this word, procurement. Hmm. What is the meaning of that word, procurement? Volunteer for reading the definition, please. Only one. The act of obtaining of, or buying goods and services. Hmm, okay. So your classmate said that is the act of obtaining or buying goods and services. Do you agree, guys, or do you have another definition? I agree with that. It's correct. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Totally sure? Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm certain. <laughs> excellent, excellent job. Okay, then we have the number four, distribution. What is that? Process, Process of supply. supply and goods. Process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. Okay, thank you. What do you think, guys? Do you agree or do you have another answer? I agree. Are you sure? Totally. Completely sure? Yes. Yeah. Totally. Very good, guys. Nice reading comprehension. I liked it. Okay, then we have maintenance. What is maintenance? Number five. Um, the process of keeping something in good in condition. Good conditions, correct. Hmm. Are you well. a, are you sure? Yes. 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 Very well. Absolutely. Ah, excellent job. Very good. Very good. Then we have inventory management. What is the, that? The ongoing process of the moving parts and the product into and up of a company's location. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Do you well, agree? Yes. Are you sure? Uh, yes. yes. With your life? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I love that, right? Uh, okay. Absolutely. And uh, look at this ones, guys. That's correct. And the last one, right? Supply chain basically is the network created amongst different companies producing and distributing products. So if you see all of these words are related to logistics. So try to keep in mind the vocabulary during this week or imagine tomorrow or on Friday, I can ask you guys, can you tell me what is supplies? Can you tell me what is procurement? Can you tell me a definition of a maintenance, for example? Okay, so you have to be able to explain the vocabulary. Got it? Yes? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, now when we're talking about outsourcing, okay, there are some advantages that we need to discuss. I'm going to share some advantages of hiring or outsource a 3PL provider. Let me know if you agree with these um, advantages or if you don't. The first advantage that we can find is that the third party logistics services improve customer satisfaction. What is the meaning of that? Do you think that the 3PL improves customer satisfaction? What do you think, yes or no? Hmm. Everybody, do you think it's true or not? What do you think, in your own opinion? It depends. Of what? Is the, the, if the, the product is the, is, um, 
as a correct or, or the service is correct mm -hmm. is on time. Ah, very good. Do you remember the seven R's, everybody? Right product, right, right price, product. right place. Right. Yes, if the service is everything correct, obviously the satisfaction will be totally. Now, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the definition. Uh huh. Who wants to read? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. 3PL providers are experts with years of experience in supply chain management. As a result, they offer businesses reliable delivery time, better communication, minimum chances of poor packet packing and damaging to improve customer satisfaction. Very good. Imagine guys that you have a company, okay? Imagine that this is Pamela's company's corporation, okay? She manufactures the product, but she needs to outsource different companies. She outsources a company for a packaging or storage, okay? And she also outsources a, another company for delivery, okay? What is the characteristics of these other companies? They said that they are, mm -hmm, they are, look. Experts. Experts, okay? If with you years. have, uh -huh, with a lot of years, years of, of experience. experience. I mean, ustedes contratarían una compañía, for example, si van a necesitar delivery, contratarían una compañía así no. que no tiene experiencia? No. no way. No, right, exactly. You are going to outsource a company with years of experience, right? So you can trust in them that they are going to do an excellent job. That's why it's considered that third party logistics uh, always have high customer satisfaction because again the companies that they outsource they are experts do you agree with this advantage yes or no yes i agree excellent and you guys do you think that this statement is true yes or no yes Yes. Okay, keep in mind because tomorrow I can ask you guys, do you remember what is the advantage of the third party logistic? And I hope you remember. Okay, another advantage of the third party logistic is that they reduce the cost. Okay. Hmm, what does it mean? I need another volunteer, please, for reading the second paragraph. Uh, me. Thank you. Go ahead. Warehousing and transportation management require large fixed capital and for most growing businesses, investing such a huge amount is imply not sustainable. 3PL providers have infrastructures in place as well as on large fleets as logistics solutions are their primary business. Thank you. So if you remember, this is something that we talked uh, last week, right? Again, imagine that Santiago has a company, right? Uh, Santiago's Inns Corporation. He does all the job, 
he manufactures, he packages, he sells, and he delivers. If he wants to deliver, ¿qué necesita él para hacer el delivery? Mm -hmm. Transport. He needs the transport. Imagine that the product is furniture. Necesita transporte pequeño o grande, si es furniture. B. B. More or less. <laughs> Just imagine, imagine que son B. muebles, que son muebles así como closets, mm -hmm. sofas, beds. So they are big. So basically, right. he needs trucks. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to draw in. I'm not good at it, but imagine <laughs> he needs it's trucks. A, 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 a big hammer. <laughs> a a big limousine. <laughs> So imagine in this case, do you think that trucks are cheap or expensive? Expensive. They are expensive. They ¿Y creen que expensive. necesita solo uno or more? More. More Maybe than more. one? Porque, ¿qué pasa si se le arruina uno? I mean, he needs another one. He's in okay. So, in a, in a in exactly. The yes. So in this case, which one is better? It's better if I buy my own trucks or if I simply just hire a company that is offering me the service. Which one is cheaper? The outsourcing or to buy my own trucks? The outsourcing, of exactly. course. Exactly. That's why one of the advantages of outsourcing is that they reduce incurring costs. Exactly. You can invest uh, if you have uh, the money. You can invest in another uh, warehouse or another uh, the quality of the product or something mm -hmm. like that. Absolutely, exactly. But imagine you are going to save a lot of money in this, right? Just imagine, si se les arruina el truck, that is not your business. You don't have to pay for the maintenance. No, that is the business of the company, right? They have to fix it, not you. So do you agree, guys, with this advantage? Reduce the current cost? Is that true? Yes. yes. Agree. Excellent. And you guys, do you agree? Yes. Totally, right? That's a very right. good advantage. Okay. Let's see if you paid attention. <laughs> what was the first advantage? Ah. <laughs> Uh huh. Extra points for the, the ones who remembers. The yes? TPO improve the customer satisfaction. Very good. Improves customer satisfaction. Extra point for Pamela. Very good. What was the second uh, advantage? Reduce current cost. Very good. Exactly. Try to remember. Remember tomorrow. I can ask you just to see if you remembered. Okay, the third characteristic or the third advantage of the 3PL is they uh, basically the 3PL providers eliminate mm -hmm. compliance and regulatory issues for international transport. So mm, what is that? I need a volunteer for reading, please. Who wants to read? 3PL provider have a, a vast network and presence in countries across the globe, which make it easier for them to transport, delivery, and even export, export, export group across international borders without Running into regulation uses. Issues. Uses. Issues. Thank you. 
All right, I'm going to give you the example again. Now imagine that Boris, this is his company, okay? And Boris has a big company. Now he is delivering products, not only in El Salvador, but also in Guatemala, right? In Honduras and in Nicaragua, <laughs> okay? So what happens here? He, again, outsources a delivery company. This is a very famous, remember the characteristics, they are experts, okay? This company has their own contacts in the different countries. ¿Será fácil para esta compañía hacer los envíos a diferentes países? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. no. Depends. It isn't easy because... Depends. Yes. Look, they already Depends. have the contacts. Ellos ya tienen como sus contactos en cada país. Okay. Eso no lo va a hacer Boris. Eso lo va a hacer la 3PL. So, ¿Será yes. fácil para ellos? Yes. Yes, it is. It is uh, more easy. Yes. Ah, so Boris se tiene que preocupar por puchica todas las regulaciones, porque al llegar a la frontera él tiene que hacer papeleo y todo eso. Tiene que preocuparse él por eso. No. ¿Quién se tiene no. que arreglar? Other Boris. The other In company. this case, the Boris company. Ah. Boris company. So in this case, look at this one. So the outsourcing, that's the characteristics. They reduced, okay, all those issues with the international transport. So basically, guys, outsourcing, ¿qué están haciendo ellos? Les está facilitando el trabajo, right? Yeah. Para que si ustedes quieren hacer international business, it will be Easier. easier okay is it clear the third advantage all right yes 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 excellent i will ask you tomorrow just to see if you remember <laughs> okay so keep in mind that now before continue guys we already checked some of the advantages of the three pl now before continue i need to check attendance again so when you listen to your names say present um, Boris Alexander? Present. Okay. Carlos Alberto? Mm, okay. Uh, Carlos Ernesto? Present teacher. Very good. Present Edwin teacher. Antonio? Carlos Domingo, present. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Thank you. All right. Uh, Edwin Antonio? Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali? Present. Very good. Eulice Torres. Okay. Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Jose Magatilio. Present. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. Kevin. Present. Okay. Nelson Alberto. Here. All right. Osman Enrique. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Eh, Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Santiago Roberto. I'm here. Very good. And Wilber Alberto. Wilber is not here. Okay. Very good. All right. Now we are going to uh, continue with the class, but now if you remember at the beginning of the class, I mentioned that we will be talking about connectors, okay? Sometimes when we are speaking, we use the typical connection that is and, <laughs> right? What did you do yesterday? Ah, yesterday I woke up early and I took a shower and 
I had breakfast uh, and I went to work and, and we are using and most of the time, all right? So the idea is to change a little bit. Instead of using only and, let's learn some other connectors that we can use in order to sound more fluent, okay? So what are some of the connectors that we can use? It's going to depend on the type of sentences that you are providing. For example, if you are telling a sequence or events, these are some of the connectors that you can use. Look, we can say first, for example, yesterday I woke up, or you can say yesterday first, let me think, first I woke up very early. Or you can say, ah, yesterday, let me see. Ah, in the first place, I woke up early. And then you can continue talking. En lugar de ir diciendo, and, and, we can use another one. We can say, second, I took a shower. Or you can say, later, I had breakfast, then I went to work, okay? Or we can say, before going to work, I brushed my teeth. After I got dressed, ah, then I went to work. Next, I ate my lunch and you can continue talking. And at the end of the day, you can say, and finally, I went to sleep. So if you see, we are explaining a sequence of events. So please guys, take note, copy them because I want you to use them, los vamos a usar. We are going to use them. So remember that these ones is when you want to describe sequence, steps. Is it clear the meaning of all of these sequence? Or is there a word that you don't know what the meaning is? No, it's all is clear. Okay, very good. Everyone? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay. Another connectors that you can use is when we give an example. If we want an example, the typical is for example. Okay. That is the typical. That is the most common one. So you can say, I like to eat fast food. For example, pizza and hamburgers. Instead of saying, for example, we can say, for instance, those are synonyms. So you can say, mm, I love fast food. For instance, pizza and hamburgers. Okay, so those are synonyms. Another one, guys, if you want to add information the typical one is and <laughs> but the idea is to avoid this one instead of and what can we say we can say also what is the meaning of also También. exactly then we say besides what is the meaning of besides? Any idea? A la par? Mm, but if we are adding information? Además. 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 Exactly. Right. Yes. So um, you can say, for example, okay, yesterday, do you know what? I went to work 
Also, I went to a restaurant. Besides that, I ate a lot of pupusas. That sounds much better than if I say, ah, I went to work and I went to a restaurant and I ate a lot of pupusas and no, right? So the idea is to stop using only and. Remember, we can use also besides. And then we have so. What is the meaning of so? In this scenario, if you want to add information. I'm sorry? Así que, así que. Uh -huh. Exactly, por lo tanto, así que, entonces. All right, very good. Now, if you want to make a contrast, the typical is, but. Ah, teacher. Yesterday, I, I wanted to continue sleeping, but I had to go to work, okay? Now, let's stop using but. And instead of using but, we can say however. What is the meaning of however? What is that? Pardon. Uh -huh. so, yes, that's correct. So guys, but and however, they are synonyms. Pero however suena un poquito más intermediate level, okay? But is basic. However, intermediate, okay? If you don't want to use however, you can use on the other hand yeah. okay i wanted to sleep however i had to work on the other hand eh, por I... otra parte, por otro lado. exactly that is the meaning for that right. and then we have although what is the meaning of although any idea Imagine if I say, I woke up early, although I didn't want to. What is that? I woke up early, although I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Me levanté temprano, although. Ah, that is the one. Or is the typical aunque, right? Me a levanté temprano. De, or yes. like, a, like a pesar de. Mm -hmm. So, me levanté temprano a pesar de que no quería. Or, aunque no quería. So, they are expressing contrast. These words are just basically, guys, a synonym of but. So, instead of using but, Let's start using the other ones. Understood the meaning for these connectors? Understood, very well. Yes? Thank you, teacher. Excellent, okay, pretty good. Then what happens if you want to give, imagine sometimes I ask you a question. Uh, for example, what did you do on your last birthday? <laughs> and your birthday was in January and you don't remember. Sometimes we say, ah, quiero ver. <laughs> so that is Spanish. We cannot say in Spanish. If you need time to think, which phrases can I use instead of saying quiero ver? Let me what? see. Very see. good. Let me see. Let what me else? See. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me Wait think. Wait for me. Yes, but wait for me, you can use it, pero eso es más como cuando están esperando para irse right. a algún lugar, right? 
So, for example, okay. imagine que ustedes están en la oficina y les dicen, nos vamos para la playa, <laughs> right? Hey, wait for me, right? Termino en cinco minutos. So, it's more for those scenarios. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case, guys, if you need time to think, you can say, well, let's see, or mm, let me think. Hey, that's a good question. Let me think. Okay, so these are those phrases that you can use instead of saying, quiero ver. <laughs> okay, so please everybody, I don't want to listen to quiero ver anymore. Never. <laughs> okay, please. Is it clear the meaning for these connectors? Very well. Yes? Yeah. Okay, and the last one, if you want to give your opinion, for example, if I ask you guys, um, which one is the best soccer team in the world? What do you think, Real Madrid or Barcelona? Which one is the best? So you want to give your the opinion. The Barcelona. The Real Madrid. <laughs> Okay, if you want to give your opinion, you can say, well, teacher, I, I think. think Real Madrid is the best. Okay? A los que digan no. Barcelona, puntos menos. <laughs> I agree. Instead, <laughs> or you can say, well, I believe... Ta, 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 ta. Okay? If you want to express your opinion, for example, if I say, guys, uh, which one do you prefer? Dogs or cats? Ah, teacher, in my opinion, ta, 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 ta. Okay? Ah, teacher, in my experience, I can say that dogs are better. Or you can say, teacher, as far as I know, or as far as I understand, Cats are better. So these are the expressions that you can use to give your opinion. The most common is to say, I think, but that is not the only one. The idea guys is to use more vocabulary, okay? So imagine if I ask you guys, which country is better to leave? Canada or United States? What is your opinion? As far as I understand, uh, I read that uh, quality, uh, uh, the quality uh, life uh, is uh, has uh, Canada more than USA. Ah, you as see? As far as I understand, because I read. Very good. But if so, I live, I have lived in Canada or, or in USA, I can say in my experience. Exactly. Very good. So if you see, he is just expressing his right. opinion, right? right? Exactly. And how about you guys? What do you think? Which one is better to leave, Canada or United States? Give me your opinion using these phrases. Uh huh. What do you think? My opinion, teacher. Uh huh. Yeah, um, I think Canada because uh, existing health. Health system. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. So you see, he's using, in my opinion, very good. So everyone, um, copy these phrases, please. You can take a screenshot or copy them because tomorrow we are going to have more speaking activities and you are going to use these phrases. Okay? okay. Did you copy okay. them? Yes. Very well. Excellent. Everybody, did you copy? Yes. In my case, in my case, yes. 
Excellent, very good. So no worries, tomorrow we are going to continue with that. Unfortunately, today we don't have more time, but no worries. As always, we have a winner that has to stay. And the winner for today is Kevin Alfredo. <laughs> okay, Kevin, are you there? Congratulations, Kevin. <laughs> Goodbye. Have right. oh, a nice night, uh, Kevin. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye, Bye. Good night, guys. See you, See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow. All right. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Hello. I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Uh, really, I. I couldn't uh, uh -huh. be here on Thursday. Mm -hmm. What happened? Um, really, I I went with my family to a restaurant because uh, they they didn't work in this. <laughs> ah, so you were in a party, huh? <laughs> <laughs> No, but but I couldn't be here. And I I want uh, I would like if you if you teach me what do you see on this class? Of course. Um well if you want to you can watch the class on YouTube. Remember that every every class is being recorded. Uh, do you have the link for the yes. playlist? Yes, I have. And maybe a, a little explain mm -hmm. about the class. Sure. Um, let me just share kind of quickly the presentation. Uh, let's see. Well, basically we practiced uh, some details. Can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay, so the previous class on Thursday, basically we just analyzed some vocabulary related to 3PL, okay? We explained, well, we have a review about the seven R's. Do you remember the seven R's? Yes. So we would just review it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then we had some discussions about logistics problems. We had some role plays that was like the speaking activity. One of your classmates were the customer, the other ones were the agent. So that was like the speaking activity. Then we just check some vocabulary. Uh, here is where we explain what first, second or three PL party logistics means. Okay, and I don't know if it is clear this concept. Yes, um, we we saw mm -hmm. we saw uh, these topics in this class. Exactly. So basically, we just review it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we pretended to do this in the previous class, but we didn't. We just did it today. Okay. And in the previous class, we were practicing simple past. Um, basically, we focused on the pronunciation of the regular verbs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So hey, I, don't, I don't know that. if if we have um, some trucos <laughs> <laughs> uh, with uh, the pronunciation of the ed. Mm -hmm. It is actually, there are two options. The first option is that you memorize the verbs that are pronounced with D, the T, or ED. Hay una lista, entonces usted decide, o se memoriza la lista de los verbos que se pronuncian con D, con T, or ED, right? O hay otra técnica, right? Eh, fíjese bien en si los verbos terminan en qué tipo de sonido. For example, si yo digo clean, ¿cuál es el último sonido de clean? Uh, with N, 
-hmm. Ok, haga el sonido clean. de la N. And... Clean. clean. Ok, touch your throat. And... Vibra and... o no vibra sus cuerdas and... vocales. And... A little bit. Ajá, ok. And... Si hay vibration, ok. Si las cuerdas vocales vibran al pronunciar el último sonido, quiere decir que cuando lo convirtamos en pasado, lo vamos a pronunciar con D. All right? Entonces, en lugar de decir cleaned, vamos a decir cleaned. Cleaned. Oh, cleaned. So, todos los cleaned. verbos cuyo final termina en un sonido que vibre, right? decimos cleaned. Esa es una de las técnicas, right? Uno mm -hmm. de los trucos. Another one is kiss. kiss. ¿Cuál es el último sonido? Kiss. With S. Ok, touch your throat. ¿Siente que vibra? Yes, yes or no. Kiss. No. No mm -hmm. vibration. So, si no hay vibration, los vamos a pronunciar con no. una T. Nice. Entonces, en lugar de decir kissed, we say kissed. Kissed. Mm -hmm. Like washed. Exactly. Correct. Okay. And todos los verbos que terminen en sonido de D o T, esos se pronuncian con id. For example, want. ¿Cuál es el último sonido de want? With T. Uh -huh. Aquí no vamos want. a ver si vibra o no vibra. Want. No, aquí decimos, ah, ok, termina con T. The pronunciation is... Want it. Wanted. Lo mismo sucede con need. ¿Cuál es el último sonido? Need. The. Entonces, the. la pronunciation will be need. Needed. Need. Need. Mm -hmm. need. That is oh. one of the, the uh, easy steps. <laughs> It is easier to remember. So, oh. let me give you some exercises. Um, arrive, for example. Arrived. Because uh, we don't have vibration. Ok, el último sonido ah, is... Sí. Ah, we need to put it. Ok, listen. Arrived. Eh, los regular verbs siempre terminan en id. Ok. okay? Pero okay. nosotros tenemos que concentrarnos en cuál es el último sonido antes de agregarle el id. So... Arrive. ¿Cuál sería el último sonido? Arrive. Arrive did. Ok. V Told your throat. Do you feel vibrations? Arrive. Oh, necesit antes del ED. ED. Exactly. Exactly. Arrive. Mm -hmm. right. Vibration or not? Arrive. No, have vibration. Are, you, are you sure? Arrive. Ok, yes. Um, para saber si tienen vibration o no, yo siempre recomiendo que hagan la comparación entre la S y la M. Okay. Cuando usted pronuncia arrive, arrive, ¿a cuál se parece más? ¿A la S o a la M? Arrive, M, mm. S. ¿A la M? Ah, entonces, ¿sí tiene vibration? Arrive. Yes. yes. Entonces, ¿cómo lo vamos a pronunciar? Arrived, arrived o arrived? Arrived. Exactly, arrived. Yeah. Okay. And what about the verb? Mm, let's see, let me think. I Um, I forgot all the verbs. <laughs> uh, oh, this one is, is very common. No, this one. Brush. The brush my teeth. Brush. Um, mm -hmm. With T. Okay, pronounce Brushed. it. Brushed. Brushed. Ah, why? Why do we say brushed? Because it sounds... Without vibration. Vibration, exactly. Like Very good. That's the okay. secret. And how about the verb decide? The decide. Mm. Uh, when you 
and teach me about the D or T. Uh -huh. The sound or the right about the word. Decide the sound. Remember the que sound. en este caso la E no suena, así que la E la ignoramos. ¿Cuál es el último sonido? Decide. Decided. Ah, ¿por qué vamos a decir decided? Because the sound finally with D. Ah, that's correct. So okay. if you see, that is basically the secret of the ED pronunciation. Okay, I, I like this uh, truco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, it is easier, actually. Siento que es más fácil así que memorizarse toda la lista, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I think could be some exceptions or, or not. Well, basically, cuando hablamos de los verbos, not really. Okay. <laughs> the rule is exactly as it is. Hay unos adjetivos que terminan en ed. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos eh, bored. Oh. O cuando decimos interested. Si se fija, esos no son verbos. Yeah. Estos son adjetivos. Ellos siguen las mismas reglas. Okay. Con los adjetivos sí podemos encontrar un par de excepciones. Pero en cuanto a los regular verbs, no really. They okay. follow the rule. Okay. okay? Excellent. Okay. So practice. Practice a little bit. This yes. big, remember that during this week, we are going to try to practice simple past. Así que ahí se va a dar gusto con los regular verbs. Yes. Okay? okay? Pretty good. Okay, so Kevin, we don't have more time. Thank you so much for staying. Continue working on the platform. See you tomorrow. You. Good night.